It has been a long and bloody day for Melvina, yet her incursion into what was once her home has been so far successful. But here, in a place such as this, one small mistake, one wrong turn will lead to death. Death is waiting in the wings, waiting for that chance, that opportunity. Melvina, let's keep cheating it. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and to our short survival series, where, well, we've got so much work to do. So, so much work to do. And we need a little bit of a plan on how we are going to do it. And to a point, we've been following a plan. We've been working from the outside in, slowly working our way around this camp, dealing with the dead that are here. And I think that's what we're going to continue to try and do. It does seem like we can get down here, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a fair bit of picking. Or alternatively, using explosives to try and get into it. So we'll see how that goes. It does sound like we're going to have to deal with other problems outside first and foremost. And that's what we're going to do. But we're going to make sure that we are fully locked and loaded before we do so putting a fresh magazine in there let's see what we've got going on this looks like it's probably some kind of a mess hall a kitchen and so I'm, I'm assuming that's what we're dealing with up here we are also getting uh quite out of breath just from the amount of stuff that we're carrying we will wait a little while here we can definitely hear some shuffling in the building next to us let's just put the earplugs in for now just because we are probably going to be doing some shooting so we want to be ready for any of that. And also, we will deal with these bodies up here first and foremost. Uh, we want to make sure that we keep them nice and pulped. And if anything shows up, then we'll deal with that then. Bile a soldier, let's go and dismember you. And the rest, yeah, we'll do what we need to. And of course, I am going to search through still and decide whether or not we want to take extra grenades and all the rest. Ideally we will, because the grenades have been very, very good to us so far. And I think they'll continue to be so. I really haven't found all that much here. There is a carbine. A carbine that's in good condition. The carbine's only a three round burst versus the four that we have at the moment. But the current gun that we've got, it is misfiring quite often. Maybe we'll just take the rounds but I am tempted to take the carbine. If we find another assault rifle, we'll, we'll definitely take that one. We do have an ID card, we'll take it. We might need them for beneath this place. So yeah, let's just go and unload that carbine for the moment and we will unload specifically the static magazines that we've got that are not full. And then we'll just get reloading. It looks like one of them's only gonna have 18 in it, but that's okay. All right, what is the condition of our bandaging? Could be better could be a lot better so I think we're gonna have to have a look at that let's go oh actually we could eat here as well because there's lots of MREs on these folks um yeah let's have a little bit of an entree calories are a lot higher we could probably go a little higher than what we've had at the moment still not full that's okay I think it's enough and then sure I'm gonna take out the earplugs for now I just want to know if anything's sneaking up on us really 70 kgs yeah we're carrying a lot of stuff i think i might need to be a little bit pickier with what we are carrying 15 grenades it's a significant amount but yeah modifications that we're not using and all the rest i think we are going to be leaving them behind and because we've been using the usp pistol i think we're going to stick with that the service handgun that's going to go for now crowbar can go too because we've got the halligan bar now instead Wow, I mean, I've got us down to 60 kgs, but I still kind of want most of what we've got. Things like the sewing kit, we can probably get rid of because I don't think we're going to be doing much in the way of repairing. There's so much equipment here that it just makes more sense for us to just, to just grab something new. Well, I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get it. <laughs> um, it's going to be hard for us to be better than that. So we're just going to have to live with that. Okay, let's crack on into this building. And let's start to clear it. It's definitely the mess hall. Okay, I did see something briefly. Let's continue moving. We were hearing noises down here. Okay. Oh, hi. We got ourselves a Kevlar brute in the pantry. 
let's take a careful shot at you. Or two. Another regular aim shot if we can. Ah, oh, look at that. A misfire. Yep. Alright, we'll get a few of them off. And then as soon as it gets close, as close as it is now, we're going to go to an automatic fire. Just because we do not want to take any risks. But at that point, I'm going to say we're going to go back to regular. And we're going to try and see if we can get off a shot before it grabs us. There we go. Smash that corpse and search it. Another ID card. Thank you. And yep, that's about all that I want from you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Struggling to hear again, but we can still hear enough. 22 rounds, I think that's okay. What we could do is have a look at just unloading that magazine and then just reloading like so. There we go. That's a little bit better. I think we probably just have too many extra Stanag magazines that are empty at the moment as well. Like, yeah, we've got five that are just sitting there empty. And they do take up space, and they do have weight to them, so I probably want to start to try and get rid of some of the empty ones. Drop it. There we go. Looks like it's mostly preserves. Yeah. Things stashed away in jars. We're doing okay right now on food. We don't really need to worry about grabbing anything from here. We just need to keep on clearing the place. So let's just make sure that the back rooms are indeed clear. Before we continue on. Let's go up the top next. See what we've got going on. Hello? Okay. Zombie soldiers to the east. Okay. Right. Spinning back around. We're on semi-automatic. Um, let's just take careful shots to begin with. And then we're probably going to have to go for some regular ones. We had two misfires there. Not great. Okay. And you will just go for a regular aimed shot. Okay. We hit the wall. Unfortunate. All right. And now we're going to have to go to automatic. And we'll just fire away. Bad bleeding. Do we want to risk it? Maybe. Let's just back up, see if we can get a run on here. We can. It's a little bit of distance. Take a regular shot if we can. Well, we managed to aim up, but yet again, we have another misfire. But still, that's enough to take it out. We have drawn some attention. There is a zombie to the northwest that might be heading in this direction. Yeah, it looks like you are. Okay, so we'll move down by the side of the window. We'll smash it. Okay, oh boy. We've got a, a fair amount of fun making their way on over towards us. So let's close that door. We'll stop running. And I think we want to try and get back up on top of a roof here. So let's make our way back inside. And we'll see if we can use elevation as our friend. Up, up we go. And out. Okay, who's down there? Hazmat zombie? It is. Okay. Take some careful shots on you. And the others that are up here... Let's bring them around and start to aim up on them. Looks like we had some other bodies around the front here that we hadn't seen to yet. Okay, another hazmat zombie, quite far away, but we should be able to get a precise shot on you. Yep, we can. That's the sniper in us doing its work. What about all the others that are coming towards that building? Ah, there we go, zombie soldier. Go precise, and we start to lose track of you there. That's okay. Once they get close, we should be perfectly fine. Just doing careful aimed shots. There we are. That's an empty magazine, so let's get it reloaded. And the, uh, the assault rifle is really starting to um, fall apart. <laughs> we had a muffled click there. Another misfire. There we go. And that one's dead as well. All right. I swear I saw a Kevlar brute. We've got two zombie soldiers making their way over, over towards us now. So, yeah, there are definitely others still inside that building. Good. Okay. 14 rounds remaining. No one else is popping out to say hello. Okay. All right. New magazine time. We can always top up the 14 one later if we need to. Sticking our head around the corner. What are we seeing inside of here? No one yet. We're not hearing activity. Doesn't mean that it isn't there. And we can see a zombie soldier much further away. We know that there's definitely something going on inside of there because we can hear it. We will do some smashing and we will see if there's anything that we want to take. In this case, no. Take a step up, continue smashing and check yet again. Okay, a grenade and a military ID. We're already overweight, so I'm okay with us taking a little bit more and we'll call that that. Checking the next, nothing that I want from you. So we're just going to keep on smashing the corpses and working our way across Keeping in mind that that zombie soldier can probably still see us. 
so many military ID cards. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. And, oh, okay. Three Stenag rounds in there. Let's take it. And we'll just reload that extra one that we had. Smash the hazmat zombie. <laughs> Look at that Prussian blue. Uh, we'll grab it. We'll grab it, you know, just in case we become irradiated. And uh, we're going to have to stick our head back inside this building now. So let's do that. Start making our way across towards where that noise is coming from. Okay. We see the soldier in the distance. Ah, there are our friends. Two zombie soldiers, a uniformed zombie, and a Kevlar brute. Uh, okay, so we're, we, we can hit that one that's all the way over there. Maybe we focus on the ones that are closer, Mel? I feel like that's probably going to be a better idea. 24 damage on the first. Okay, heavy artillery. We'll leave that one just bleeding for a little bit, and we'll try and go for the uniform zombie next. Okay, that should bleed out before it gets to us. We can't see the Hulk right now. Do a little bit more damage to the other one. Okay, heavy arterial. They should both bleed out now. So let's just start running down here. We'll close the door behind us. And we'll just wait to see if they do actually manage to pop it open. We use our night vision to keep an eye on it. And we should be able to just shoot them through here. That one's completely fresh. Okay, and yep, the Kevlar brutes there. Cannot actually see us right now, which is interesting. Now it can. Um, <laughs> now it most certainly can. All right, so we're going to go to automatic. And I want to try and see if we can get a bit of a steadier shot here. All right, sounds like them on the outside just died. Good. Oh, man. So many misfires there. But we did get a few shots off. Heavy arterial bleeding. Let's see if we can get some distance. Oh, only just. I think we're going to need to take another automatic shot here. Come on, get a little closer. I don't mind. Okay. All right. Way too many misfires there, but we worked it out. I think we're probably just going to go automatic on this one as well. Come on, you can do better than this. That is certainly better. Heavy arterial. We'll change to semi-automatic now if we can. Being grabbed. It's not too bad. And that's another dead one. Quickly smash them. And we'll check them. Nothing on the soldier. And we got two grenades on the Kevlar brute. Three. Okay, but we have spotted a zombie soldier. I think we're okay. It hasn't advanced yet. All right. Oh boy. Yet again, let's reload. And we'll continue on up. Smash the corpses. Uh, we will stop smashing. And we're going to deal with this one first. <sighs> Another misfire. God damn it. Heavy bleeding. Start to run away, get some distance. Just go for a regular aimed shot. Damn. Went a little wide. Try and run back again. More distance. Regular aim, good heavy arterial bleeding. Let's just let it bleed out if we can. A little bit of exercise is good for us as well. There we go. Nothing that we want. Let's get our breath back before we do anything else. Okay. All right, checking back up here. We'll smash that body. Double check them. We are good to continue on. Oh, we haven't checked here yet. We still need to do that. And it does sound ah like there was something else in here. Heavy arterial bleeding. We'll just go regular aim. We'll put you down and we'll make sure that we check you. We've got a hacksaw that is actually kind of useful, but it will weigh us down too much. And we don't need anything else from you. No. Bathroom? Okay. I doubt there's going to be anything in here, but we'll check all the same, just to make sure that we know that we have indeed cleared this building, and I'm going to say that this building is clear. So that means that we can continue on to the west, and uh, looks like it's a barracks, looks like it's two barracks in actual fact. Let's try and stick a little bit more to the outside if we can. I think that's going to be better for us. Yeah, if we can if we can get to a tower on the southwest side, we might be able to lure everything from the outside, from these pits over here, over, and then we'll just be able to deal with them with grenades and everything else. So start making our way to the west, and we will see if there is a gap. There's a bio operator that's over there. We can actually start taking some shots once it reaches a little bit further along. Yeah, so close. Uh, just wait a few turns. And now we should be able to take precise shots. 
we will just make sure that, yeah, we're on semi-automatic at the moment. And heavy arterial bleeding. That should be dead by the time it reaches us. Let's see. Oh, so close. So close. Let's just run back. And it will die. Come on. Die already. There we go. Let's get our breath back before we go and smash its corpse. And we will check it. It's got a service handgun. And it does have a carbine. Okay, uh, with a totally fresh magazine in it. So we will take that. Thank you. And it's a carbine that does have quite a few modifications on it. So I might still want to check and see what we can take from that. All right, detach. What have we got? There is a forward grip and there's a suppressor as well. A hybrid ACOG scope. We're going to take that. Yeah, sure. Definitely take that suppressor and we'll take that forward grip too. Thank you. Drop that back on the ground. Uh, we are going to want a different weapon than the assault rifle that we've been using just because of how damaged it is. Can we mend it just straight up? Okay, we need a firearm repair kit to be able to do that. I mean, that makes sense. It needs to be lubricated. We can always just hope that we are able to find another before too long as well. Okay, so we'd need for an underbarrel mod, we'd need to take off an existing mod on there. It's the bipod. Yeah, sure, we'll take that off. Let's put the suppressor on and the forward grip and we'll swap out the scope as well. There we go. Leave the other modifications behind and we will continue on. Uh, we are hearing some activity to the north of us now. Oh, okay, and there is a gap. Um, right, we are gonna wanna try and be a little bit careful with how we go about this. The sound shouldn't be as loud now. Suppressor will be helping us out with that. That arterial bleeding should mean that this is just going to uh, die. Yep, there we go, that's good. Lots of activity to the north now, and we are seeing, oh boy, lots to the west as well. I doubt we're gonna get to that tower now, so we need to look at other options. I don't want anything from you. Um, yeah, that zombie brute, I am concerned about that. It's faster than all the others right now. Those Scorch Zombies seem quite slow. So we're just going to start to try and pop that Brute Heavy Bleeding. We're not going to take a risk. We'll take it out. And I do think that we could, with some pretty controlled shooting, take out all the Scorch Zombies that are making their way towards us at the moment. I mean, ah, uh, the smoke is going to make that a little bit difficult. Oh boy. Um, we've just spotted a mine. This is fine. Okay, nice precise shot there. And it, it's obscuring their view of us, I suppose. Ah, uh, no, we don't want to reload right this second. Just a precise shot, thank you. Don't know if it's bleeding exactly. That's another one that's just been popped. Okay, we'll stay still for now. Keep our steadiness up. We'll just go for a careful shot here. Nice, okay. Now we need to really back up. Careful shot on that zombie. Excellent, and a precise shot on you. Not enough to kill it, but nearly enough. Here we go. Backing up further still. Lots of zombies <laughs> in amongst the smoke here. We've got five shots left. Um, we will have to reload soon. Just give it a little bit longer. Take a precise shot on that zombie if we can. And let's just see if we can hold our ground here and reload this in time. There we go. Quick shooting, Malvina. Precise shot, oh, just on the edge of that explosive smoke. And let's take a precise shot on you. There we go, and a regular shot. Hmm, damn. Oh, did you see that mine just go off? That scorch zombie is no more. We'll take a precise shot here. Another huge explosion as they make their way through the minefield. And uh, I think that's them dealt with. Yeah, or at least that group of them. Okay, good. What are we looking at? 24 rounds in there at the moment. Um, we still have a lot of Stanag that is completely full. We do have a lot of zombies here that just have nothing on them at all. I'm going to be very cautious when getting close to the minefield here as well. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of stuff going on inside. Yeah, let's just keep on smashing. I'm not seeing anything on these bodies at all, so we are just making sure that they are not going to come back to life. We will check you. Nope. The brute has nothing either. Means that they have all reanimated at some point and left their belongings behind. Okay, regular zombie, that's all right. We'll start to steady up, take a precise shot, and then a careful shot. And that's enough to take it down. Sounds like more fun. 
<laughs> okay. Well, we are going to be getting it, you know, um, I'd say better at shooting. We're going to be keeping our shooting skill up by taking down these large numbers. It is a little risky to be doing it this way, but it still seems to be kind of paying off for us. Just keep moving back, Malvina. Pop those scorched ones whenever you can. Another careful shot should do it. We'll just say careful on you. Precise on you. And every time there is smoke, it gives us a second to kind of collect ourselves and then move on. Uh, we don't want them to get too close though, which is kind of what they are starting to do now. So we'll just keep on backing up. Go precise. Okay, we are going to have to get further away. Right on the edge there. Oh boy. Two shots. Should be maybe two for this one as well. Heavy arterial. We could wait, but it's not worth it. We'll just take the shot. Take it out. Huge explosion. As uh, it sounds like they've walked into yet another mine. We like that. Makes it easier for us. Yet another huge explosion. They're clearing the field. And obviously those explosions are also drawing the dead towards them. So, yay. Okay, time for another reload. Let's grab a fresh magazine. There's so many scorched zombies down there. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm half tempted to throw a grenade at them. Um, they can barely see what's going on right now in the smoke. I will just take out these regular zombies to begin with though. Um, yeah, I, I am very tempted by that. Okay, we're going to give it a go. We are going to give it a go. Uh, we know that our throwing skill ain't amazing. Let's wear the rifle. Um, we're just going to go to the side here like this. We're going to activate the grenade and we are going to throw it. And because we're just like kind of out in the open here, surely it's going to fly at least a little bit further. I don't see where it is. So that's maybe a good thing. Or maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. We're going to run regardless. And oh boy, that was actually kind of on the money. Not bad, Melvina. Not freaking bad. Okay, we're still seeing a few of them down there. Uh, we, we can barely hear. There's three of them now. Okay, I think that's an acceptable amount for us to take down with our rifle. We'll start just taking some precise shots. Um, they are still kind of wandering through the minefield, so... Uh, they just vanished. <laughs> there was a lot more of them there, and they just straight up vanished. Okay, well... That's that. Imagine that they probably stood on another mine uh, and just straight up exploded. Um, okay, our perception's still good, even though we cannot um, hear right now. We can still see just fine. We'll make sure that we continue to smash all these bodies here. This has been a lot of work, Malvina. And we're starting to tire. We've just got no hearing at all after those explosions and those grenade blasts. Which means that we could be walking into a whole lot of trouble here. Okay, no, we can hear a little bit better now. I'm going to peek around this corner. And we seem to be good. Okay. Do we have a tower, though? Yeah, I mean, this should be a tower right here. Let's start to move. Okay, we're seeing uh, two Kevlar Brutes, 11 zombies, and a, a lot of trouble. Um, all over there. Right, because that's where all the noise was coming from. They aren't actually aware of us just yet. Okay, that door's just straight up open. We can take it. Oh boy, oh yeah. Now, first thing that I want to do out here is just make sure that there aren't any um, bad things. And by bad things, I mean bileless soldiers that are going to cause us pain and misery. Oh, these are open. So they're kind of like um, containers, I guess, but they just don't have a roof. It does say a matching roof, so maybe you've climbed on top of it. High quality and tough checkered metal flooring to reduce risk of slips and falls with a matching roof. Yeah, metal floor, but okay, maybe it is open. I don't know. Regardless, we can see a zombie soldier just chilling on the top of it there. We can probably get away with taking a shot at that now. Um, or can we? We don't seem to be able to. Maybe it is down on the other side. I'll try a precise shot. Um, no, no. We just hear bang. Uh, we did shoot. We still don't have the attention of the main group over there. Huh. And really... I think we've drawn everyone from the front. So I guess we really only have that group over there to deal with now. At least from this side. Um, can we pick any of them off? I mean, the range is going to be too extreme. If we hit like one of them though, 
the rest of them should follow, theoretically. I think we want to try and deal with that lone zombie. Which should just be around the corner here. Let's see, yeah, okay. We'll take our shot at you, we'll just say regular aim. Two quick shots is enough to do it. Okay, so many body bags over there. And fuel, right? Yeah, a lot of jet fuel. Same thing up here, JP-8. Another mine just to the south of us. Okay, all right. Let's get a little bit closer until we are within range, and that's range. Uh, this is definitely a scenario in which we want to use grenades, but we will do enough damage to be able to try and pull the others on over towards us. Although in saying that, I think with our silencer, I mean, you know, they're starting to notice us now, but the, su the suppressor is actually making this a lot easier to just kind of pick them off one by one as they start to get closer. Okay, three shots left. We'll fire that once and then we'll go and reload. Man, this poor rifle. <laughs> I am really shooting it to oblivion right now. There we go. Uh, well, then we've just got the brutes, really. Just keep on picking them off like this. Because I don't think they're hearing the shots. Some of them are seeing us when they get close enough. But they're not hearing the shots the same way that they uh, usually do. So just keep on peppering the brutes and the soldiers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're going to use a bit of ammunition by doing it this way, but... Oh, it's like... It's wrecked as well. This thing is barely usable at this stage, so I really have to try and find another... Another weapon, um, because, yeah, it's no good. It's going to be misfiring a lot. It still does good damage, though. You know, bullets still hurt. It's just going to be misfiring fairly often. But all things considered, i got to say, it still held up pretty well. Considering just how damaged it is. And they still really have no idea that I'm here, huh? Ah, oh, that's the soldier down. Let's just keep on popping these brutes. Well, it's taken a fair few shots to get them weakened. But they're pretty weak now. And that's a brute dead. Next magazine. Last brute. Heavy bleeding. Come on. Nearly there. Brute dies. Hot damn Melvina. Okay. 20 rounds in here still, so we're not going to worry about reloading just yet. We're just going to go through all of these bodies that are here, one by one, and just smash them. It's really only the soldiers that we're going to be searching, though. So, let's see what we got. Okay, we've got a carbine that's damaged. I feel like we've seen better condition carbines, but I want to take the ammunition from it anyway, so let's just unload it. Oh, hang on. Eight round auto loading shotgun. That would be nice to have. That is a fantastic backup. And plus two, it might actually be wearable. We're going to wear it. Um, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> We've got a shotgun on us as well. Let's get that reloaded because we do have um, shot for it. Is that all the shot that we have? Oh no, we can keep on inserting more. Let's get that fully reloaded because that's a great holdout weapon for us. If we have a brute that is like right on top of us, that is going to be a fantastic thing to just be able to pull out and um, attempt to blast them away, really. What do we have? I don't think we left anything. Ice Ice Utility Exoskeleton. I'm sorry? Um, okay, what are you? A skeletal frame of sturdy metal with attached motors to allow the user to move heavier loads with less strain on the body. This model uses a compact combustible engine for power. It's a freaking exoskeleton. It's, uh, it, it goes over the whole kind of like bottom half of the body. Look at the protection as well. This is power armor. Okay, it it's powered by gasoline though. It, maybe we can use other things than just gasoline because there is like the jet fuel out front. I'm tempted to try that. Um, I do want to take care of that soldier first though. Um, we might have others though that we need to worry about. So no, we'll just leave that one for now and we'll start to make our way on over towards this gas. 
I don't want to grab too much. We'll just take uh, that plastic jerry can for now and we'll see if we're able to reload it with that because if we are, oh boy, that, uh, that's quite a tool. So let's see, can we reload it? Uh, drop that for now. We do not have any gasoline to reload it. It has to be gas. Damn. All right, drop the exoskeleton um, and pick back up your rifle. Your very, very damaged rifle. Okay, so if we can find gasoline, then <laughs> we've got an exoskeleton that'll work for us. I don't think it's a good idea for us to try and use it without that. I feel like we would be having a hard time. Um, having a look at the magazines that we do have, I think I'm going to quickly just try and reorganize them if I can by unloading some of the ones that don't have as much in them. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Um, oh, hi, zombie soldier. Um, you're a little bit closer than I would like. We'll try. Just take a careful shot. Another. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. We've spotted another soldier now. Let's just have a look and see where they are. Okay, so regular zombies, regular soldiers up towards the top at the moment. I want to try and see if we can take out the one that we saw in here. Oh, that is the one. Okay, and the the others up the top here, they have seen us now. We're going to start to just try and take precise shots at the regular zombies. If they get arterial bleeding, we will leave them alone. Heavy bleeding. There we go. Let's go for these soldiers next. You're probably going to get to us first, so we'll start off with you. Do some nice precise strikes. We've got seven rounds remaining. Probably going to need to reload soon. Heavy arterial bleeding. Uh, what I could do here is actually run back, close these doors, and they'll actually give us a shot to uh, reload this. Let's go for a fresh magazine. It's another one that's died outside. And another one. Now we're probably going to need to run back right away. So let's just make sure that we're properly um, as rested as we can be, really. I guess we could try and just climb over this, right? Because we could see into here before. Can we climb over these walls? Let's see. No. <laughs> okay. And we're going to make sure that we run back right away. Uh, there is a zapper there as well, which I am not a fan of. Let's change our firing mode if we can. We're going to change to automatic and we're going to let this thing get within melee distance. Or you know what? That's pretty good. I'm going to go with that. Excellent. And I think we might have got some shots into the zapper. Yeah, yeah, a few. Okay, heavy arterial. Oh, come on, we've nearly got it. There we go. Okay, all right. We're going to change back to just semi-automatic. And let's let the zapper get a little closer. Careful shots enough to do it. Okay. All right. I was going to say I thought we dealt with them. Not quite. We do have another zombie making its way in here. A few careful shots, though, is enough to deal with it. We're hearing shuffling. There are others outside. We'll be aware of that. But we will try and deal with those that are in here already. I mean, how bad could it be outside? Huh? How bad? This is fine. Uh, we've got 11 shots left. I think to err on the side of the caution, we are just going to close the door and we're going to do another reload here. There we go. And we're just going to combine our other magazines again. Okay. Here we go. Popping our head outside. Let's just go around just so that we have a little bit more range to deal with whatever is there. It's just a regular zombie. And it's already injured. So that works out well for us. We'll still check the regular ones, because these ones seemingly haven't died yet. So they could still have some interesting things. <laughs> a grenade. We will take it. And you know what? Yeah, sure, we will take a little bit of extra morphine. We haven't taken it yet, and I don't know if we will. If we need to, we know that things are uh, rough. Well, <laughs> this is this is going pretty good for us. i got to say, um, way better than I would have thought. We're probably going to have to try and clear out this space. Um, let's not smash any extra glass if we don't need to. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely like a, a bunkhouse. Let's just peek around in here, see if we've got anything going on. Actually, you know what? Let's use our night vision. Okay, bathrooms are clear. The best of my knowledge. 
turn that night vision back off and we'll just clear the rest of this here. I suppose we could also just check to see if we have anything, you know, worthwhile stashed away here. Combo cover. What are you? Also safety glasses. We might want that. Combo cover. Oh, it's a peaked cap. Right. Um, yeah, we don't have any eye protection on at the moment. That's not good. Um, safety glasses, please. And thank you. And I don't know if we want to go through everything here, but if we can find another, yeah, another military rucksack that's in good condition like this one here, it's going to be worth us taking. So we will wear that one and we'll just go to R rucksack and we are just going to have to unload it that one there with 53 items we'll drop our rifle for the moment and we will just get rid of uh that one halligan bar we should why can we not put that back into our interesting hmm. i guess it's just the distribution of things strange well let's uh pick up our rifle off the ground and that halligan bar yep doesn't fit in any pockets did fit in this one though very interesting. I guess if we find a molly pack as well, that might be better for us to use, just because um, they're a little bit more modular. Yeah, I think it's mostly going to be personal clothing here. There are military uniforms, for sure. And there's a fair few books, but I don't think we're going to find anything game-changing. Oh, apart from a molly assault pack. Yeah, which um, might not be able to take as much as the military rucksack, but I think just in general, it's going to be better for us. It's got a hydration pack built into it as well. So, yeah, let's get the molly assault pack and same kind of deal we are just gonna have to unload and we will drop our old rucksack we are gonna be able to carry less that's for sure the flashlight can't fit in there all right well we'll just have to drop off some of our extra magazines and hope that it can no ah interesting can't fit in the pack at all that's okay it's not something that we desperately need it does help to have a flashlight for sure but now right now weight wise this is actually kind of working out for us so that's good and the other good thing about this pack is that it does have a hydration pack. So that makes it a little bit easier for us to just drink water on the go. Let's just check the rest here. Oh, we've got mist kits, cigarettes. I don't think we're going to want to grab anything else from here. We'll just... Ah, that's the entrance. Okay. Well, I knew we were going to find one eventually. And we can see a soldier. Where are we seeing you? Where is our next point that we're going to be attacking? Up there. Okay. Yep. And you know what? I am wondering if we have a tower entrance. It looks like we do over towards the west, but that door is locked. I wonder if it is on the inside. It could also just be a checkpoint. A little difficult to know. Um, I do want to get a little bit closer to that soldier and see if we can pick them off before they can actually notice that we're here. There's three soldiers, it looks like. Let's start taking some precise shots. Just picking them off at a distance. Yeah, you're getting closer closer than I would like. We'll just do careful aim at this point. Come on. All right. A little closer than I would like. We've got some others that are coming across the road towards us. We'll just do regular aim now. Once they start to get closer, just so we're firing a little bit faster. Oh, and that's us out of ammunition for that one. Okay, so we'll just start to run back here. Um, hmm. Not liking the numbers that we're dealing with there a little bit. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to reload that fast enough, though. Yep, we are. Just. We'll start to steady up. If they get really close, that's when we're going to start to go for our automatic shots. I think we might need to do one on this one here. We will see. Oh, no, I think we got it. There we go. All right, you're completely fresh, so I'm going to say that, yeah, we, we will do automatic. But we want to make sure that we are not dealing with any recoil whatsoever and that we have a really good chance to hit you with as many shots as possible. Because we ideally don't want to be wasteful. I might just go back to semi-automatic here and see if we can get that to work. And then let's actually see if we can get a little bit of distance. We can, nice, okay. So sometimes when we do hit them with a few bullets, we kind of stun them for a moment. And that seemed to be what kind of was happening there. We'll just run back. Heavy bleeding isn't arterial bleeding. So we'll just take a, oh, I was gonna say a controlled hit, but no, it's dead. You are not fresh, but we'll take a precise shot at you. See if we can take you out. Heavy bleeding, you should die. There we go. All right, wait a little while, catch our breath. Okay, the zombie's dangerously close. We will stop catching our breath then. Take a controlled hit, or rather a careful hit. And that's enough to take it out. Okay, smash the corpses of those soldiers and quickly check them over. Hoping that we are going to find a rifle on one of them. 
That's going to be better than what we are currently using. But uh, no such luck as of yet. Just working our way through this trail of corpses. We've now spotted a pilot. Okay, well, where are you? Out the front. Okay, and I am seeing a staircase over towards the west where one of the Humvees, it looks like, is struck into. Um, I don't know if this is going to have a staircase, so I think we're just going to try and shoot over towards here now and see if we can make it before, um, you know, all hell breaks loose. Oh, and there's a fair amount of it out there. Hell, that is. Yeah, feral soldiers, rottweilers, scorch zombies, the lot. So, you know what we're going to do with them? We're going to reach into our bag of grenades and grab out one of the 17 that we've got. Actually, we should just try and wear our assault rifle. Um, okay, let's step on outside. I don't know if we have any bilas soldiers out here. We haven't been hit by anything yet. Let's activate that grenade. We are going to drop it, I'd just say, to the northwest here. There we go. And let's run. See if we can get back inside in time. Wow. Okay, so we really want to go on the other side of the place here. Because uh, those windows were just completely shot. Uh, yeah. And you know what? We're just going to wait a little while. We want this to really build up. Okay, I waited a little bit too long. Um, <laughs> feral soldiers are able to just come up the staircases. Should have thought about that. I really should have thought about that. Um, I want to try and see if we can get a little bit of distance from this one here. Uh, he's kind of right on us, so I think the best thing that we can do is just grab our holster, take out the pistol, quick fast, and try and see if we can get away with getting a few shots off at the soldier. Yep, 27 damage, that's good. Okay, one more good shot should do it. There we go. Smash those remains. Okay, not coming back. And there's a Stanag in there. I'll take it. Down with sort of crassy t-shirt. Okay, interesting. We'll just take that magazine for the moment. And we need to deal with our bleeding. So let's holster our pistol. And if we're just holding down, we should be okay. Uh, there is a strong chance that there could have been other ferals down there as well. So I need to keep that in mind. But I think for the moment, um, we have drawn in enough to use another grenade here. So... Let's reach back into the pack, take out our grenade, and make our way on over. And this time, we're definitely going to make sure that we run as far as we can to the other side of this. And we're good. We're good. We can barely hear anything at all. Yeah. Messy. Very messy. Let's take out our rifle, and we'll see if we can pick off any that are close by. Well, <laughs> that answers that. We've got a runner. Made its way up the staircase towards us. And, you know, there are no doors stopping them from doing this, so I guess I should not be surprised. Um, damn, another misfire. Okay. There we go. Got you. All right, let's go back around the corner here. Um, you know what? Let's actually crouch down, just so we're a little less visible. We're going to have to drop the weapon for a moment and just deal with the bleeding. Okay. We've got more soldiers making their way on over towards us at the moment. Grab the rifle back out. We'll see if we can pop a few shots at them before they make it too close. All right, good hit, 17 damage. Could be better. Another misfire. That's unfortunate. All right, I think they're going to be stuck in the vehicle for a little while here, but um, we are having more of a challenge to hit them. We can hit you, though, and I think what we'll do... Yeah, that's, that's definitely still grenade-worthy. So <laughs> let's grab another back out, go to the corner, activate and drop. You know, we could also just drop a regular grenade, non-activated, before we drop the active one. Oh boy. Well, that was close. That was close, but we got it. <laughs> There's a lot of them dying over there. A lot of them dying, and even more of them still just gathering up there. The numbers that we are dealing with here. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. But we have a lot of resources. We're willing to use as many as it takes. Dropping it over the side again, running back around. Another explosion tears out, destroying a lot of what was on the ground. And I feel like we're just dealing with stragglers now. So let's get our rifle back out and we'll see if we can get some of these angles to work for us. Um, you know what? We'll also put in our earplugs now. It might be a little late for that, but we'll see. Oh, wow. We've still got others making their way over. Some regular zombies. That's a bit better of an angle, that one. Not so much. Okay, just working our way around the tower here. You can see some bio-operators a little bit further away. 
think it's probably better for us to just try and take some shots at that. Yeah. Start getting some precise shots. And let's reload. Down to our last main magazine. Heavy arterial bleeding, that will die. Hopefully, before it reaches us. There we go, that's its death. We've got a regular zombie up here. Take precise shots because it's, you know, makes sense. That one will also die. Oh man, okay. Well, our numbers are becoming more limited. Ammunition wise at the moment, we've got 17 rounds left in this other magazine at the moment. Okay, now we've got five shots just kind of hanging out. So let's first of all, reload our main magazine and then we'll top off this one as well. You know what? I think we can hit you from here. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. It is, uh, well, that angle wasn't working out. This might. Nope. Same deal. Ain't working for us. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go back down, whether we like it or not. Um, I will peek down the stairs, though. Okay, we've got a zombie military pilot who's right there. I think we might actually be able to hit him from here. Oh, and you can also hit me. So, yeah. Okay. That's not a, not a great plan. Can I hit you from here, though? No, I can't see you. But if I stand here, I can. And I know that you're there. Hmm. Okay. It's a bit of a problem. Because they don't seem to want to come up the stairs towards me. Um. Right. And I don't think that I can just drop the... Okay. Yeah. Because... <laughs> hmm. Can I drop a grenade down the stairs? I don't want to destroy the stairs as well. Like that. That I feel like would be a, a bad a bad call. We know that this area here is kind of open though. So I think if we drop a grenade there. That will help us out. So, let's have it activate. We're going to drop it over there, and we need to run to the other side as quickly as we can to get to some kind of cover. Now, it didn't tell us specifically that it killed anything there, but we also couldn't see them, so it might have. Looks like we might be able to get a few shots off at this zombie before it gets any closer. Bad bleeding. And that feral soldier, we definitely want to try and get a few shots at that if we can. Heavy arterial bleeding. It should be dead before it gets into the tower. But you never know. Ah, that's definitely a death. Oh, zombie tramples the feral soldier. Damn. Alright, let's head on back over towards the staircase. And see that we still have a zombie pilot down there. And, you know, I feel like when we're peeking like that, yeah, we can throw, but I don't think I'd be able to just drop. And if I dropped it, it would just end up on the staircase there. So, yet again, that doesn't help us out. Um... I think we can fire down at it. We just def we have to fire really quickly. Because it is going to be attacking us like each turn. Damn. Okay, no, we can't. I guess that answers that. We shoot it, but it doesn't... Uh, it does The bullet doesn't make it to it. So we're going to need to try and find another way down, potentially. Or take out our combat knife, drop the backpack, and attempt to fight. Not Melvina's strong suit. But she may have no other choice. This has been yet another episode of Death and Destruction. And I hope you're enjoying the change of pace from what we usually have with our survivors in Cataclysm. Malvina has so much hardware to work with. And oh boy, if we could get that exoskeleton running, we would be an absolute beast. But Legionnaires, that's all for the future. So please do join me in the next. And hey, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.